Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2022 Gold Rush Autograph Multisport Jersey, six box random letter break number two. Six box right here, full case. We're going by the first letter of their first name. First letter of their first name, there are the letters right there. Now, there are some multi-autograph jerseys right there. If it's the Eagles one, we're just gonna send it to letter E just to make it easy. And then University of Kentucky Juries will just go to the letter U. So Pele will still go to P. Uh, Messi, Lionel Messi will go to L, so on and so. Ichiro goes to I, so on and so forth. Big thanks to this group right here for making it happen. And there are the letters right there. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it. Four and a three. Seven times for names and letters. One, two, three, four. Five, six, and seventh and final time. Aaron down to Brock. Four and a three, seven times for the letters. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh and final time. After seven, we got M down at A. Again, first letter, first name. All right, Aaron with the letter M, Craig with NV, Nathan FH, Brian with S, Bob with K, Aaron Z, U, Brian P, Alan Y, uh, W and Y, Aaron with E, Alan with C, Aaron L, J, Alan with D, Brock with G, Kevin with R, Alan with T, B, and I, and Brock with A. So let's sort alphabetically by letter. And we're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. Then we'll have this case break. So stick around. Be right back. All right. Welcome back. No deals were done here. Spot number two. All right, so you can kind of see the gold rush thingy right there, the logo on the face cam. So we'll pop this open, sealed up here. Where's my knife? In my pocket? My pocket. I'm actually going to turn off that top camera there. Sometimes you'll be able to peek at the jersey. We're going to play a little Who Am I? Where I give you some clues and you try to give me the player. And then if you guess it correctly, Bragging rights. Who are you? It's a custom jersey. It's a baseball player. Let me give you some stats here. A 24-year-old baseball player, bats right, throws, throws right, an outfielder, lifetime 277 batting average, 120 home runs, 296 runs batted in, 107 stolen bases, a three-time All-Star, a two-time All-MLB second team, two years, an NL Rookie of the Year, a two-time Silver Slugger, an NL Stolen Base Leader, and part of the 30-30 club back in 2019 which is, I think, my second full season in Major League Baseball. I think he's... Is he on the injured list? He's on a playoff team. I'm not sure if he's going to be playing in the playoffs, though. Or no, he is. It, I think his teammate might be the one not playing. Yeah. 
not Eloy, not Juan Soto, and yes, Acuna. There you go. And I think that's for you, Kevin M. Yep, Kevin has Ronald Acuna Jr., first letter, first name. So there's his autograph right there. You got you see the JSA sticker and the JSA card inside. And if it's a if it's an officially licensed jersey, it would have the MLB logo man there, but it's not. It's good for framing though. So you don't block any of the nice officially licensed stuff. There you go, Kevin. is random letter break number two. Congrats, Kevin. All right, next one. Oh, hey, is that right, Sam? That's what everyone says when their guess isn't right. They're like, no, I was just kidding. All right. All right. Who am I? Is this a, I think this might be not a case here? Or it's not on the sell sheet? Okay. Anyway, uh, I'm a soccer player, a 42-year-old soccer player. This might be pretty easy to get. Uh, what teams did I play for? I played for Gourmillo in my youth career. Banged in 47 goals for them in 89 appearances. Played for Paris Saint-Germain for a couple seasons. Only uh, 55 appearances, only 17 goals. But here, I think here's where I really started to shine. Played for Barcelona between 2003 and 2008. 145 appearances, banged in 70 goals. Played for AC Milan, and then Flamenco, then Atletico Mineiro. Then he went back to, went back to Brazil. But an attacking midfielder, winger, and uh, I think some injuries really probably derailed his career for a little bit but when healthy man this guy was pretty amazing one of the greatest players of his generation among the most skillful players ever can score and create goals like if you played him on FIFA and you play well I mean he's pretty unstoppable and just really just a really fun player to watch that Grizzle Bees. And Nate got it. Ronaldinho. Nate guessing Pele again. <laughs> Pele's not 42 years old. But Ronaldinho is. Your first guess was right. You should have stuck with that. Now it's on the record in the chat. Nice penmanship there. The Beckett sticker. There's Ronaldinho. Is this a, no, it's not an officially licensed jersey, but it looks like, looks like they kind of stitched in like some of his uh, credentials there as well. And that's another R. For uh, for Kevin, nice Kevin. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, Bob said "ho" earlier, but I didn't realize that you were referencing Ronaldinho.
Got to be more specific, Bob. All right, but wait, there's more. We're doing all six jerseys. Here is jersey number three. All right, we got some old school hockey here. I am currently 66 years old. My playing career was between 1975 and 1994. I was a center, a lefty, played for only two teams my entire career. And let's see, there's some other stats I can give you here. 5'11", 195. Um, I won four Stanley Cups with this team and two with the other team and one as an assistant coach. I shared the NHL record for points in a single period with six, four goals and two assists in the second period against the Rangers in 1978. Only one of eight NHL players with multiple five-goal games. And I think, what am I doing now? I think I am currently an assistant coach for the Buffalo Sabres. Steve Yzerman, who is also renowned for his strong two-way play, considered this person his favorite player. No old school hockey fans? He won, uh, I'll give you the teams. He won four Stanley Cups with the Islanders and two with the Penguins. And then one with the Avalanche as a coach, as an assistant coach. <laughs> That's right, Grizzlebees. Good chance he is white. <laughs> Hockey players in the 1970s. He's Canadian. No, no hockey fans here? Someone's got to guess this. Played for the Islanders. Islanders legend. These are the Islanders colors here, too. Not Lundquist, not Stasny, not Guy Carpentier, not Ted. I don't know what, who Ted Irvine is. It's Brian Trottier. Letter B. There's his autograph right there on a custom jersey. You got the HOF inscription. You got the JSA. The JSA sticker. There it is right there. It looks like another custom jersey. You might have some other achievement stitching on there or something like that. Ooh, Bandit saying Troti, you were in the middle of typing it when I said it? I don't know. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll allow it. Make sure you're not lagging behind Bandit 15 just so you're at the most current part of the stream to get your who am I guesses in. That's Alan Murdoch with the letter B. There you go, Alan. All right. Yeah, Gila was in the middle of typing it too, right? You're welcome, Alan. Thanks for getting in. All right, next one. Yeah. 
Who are you? Got it. Easy, nutty Nate. R relax. Don't don't spam with guesses. Those don't count. Oh, easy, Bob. Wait and wait until I give you the clues here. Otherwise, it's kind of pointless, right? All right. I'm a baseball player. A Venezuelan catcher. 30 years old, bats right, throws right. I've got a lifetime 256 batting average, 117 home runs, 365 runs batted in. Played for one team my entire career. Three-time All-Star, a World Series champion. Boom, there you go, Nate. See, told you to wait. Wilson Contreras, who I think might be a free agent in the offseason. Or this season, I guess now. There's a silver ink autograph right there, his number 40. Contreras. Looks like a custom jersey there as well. He got all the Beckett sticker and card information. Very nice. Guess what? That's another one for Allen. This time with the letter W. Yeah, one of Rex's favorite players. He's a Cub. Is he the last remaining starting starter from that 2016 team? Was he a starter in 2016? I don't know. They might not have very many players left from that World Series team. All right, who do we have here? All right, we got a retired NFLer here, 50 years old. I think I guess my height weight in in my Wikipedia page must be playing days. Six one, 198. Was a third round draft pick in the mid 90s out of Virginia Tech, a wide receiver. Played for two teams my entire career, a Super Bowl champion, a one time first team All Pro, and a Pro Bowler that same year. I was the NFL receiving yards leader that year as well and part of this team's Hall of Fame. Ended up with 477 receptions for 7,251 receiving yards and 61 receiving touchdowns. What is he doing these days? I guess I was a, occasionally participated as an analyst on ESPN's first take, NFL Live. Has appeared on College Game Day in support of my alma mater, Virginia Tech. I now appear on Redskins, or I guess it'd be Commanders, kickoff and post game, as a commentator. And uh, and I've apparently I've hosted my own radio show. The show, the End Zone, with my name. Since 2010, the show currently airs on WTSO in Madison and WOKY in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. He's got his own uh, local. Uh, Sports talk radio show. That's what he's doing nowadays. Who am I? And in my Pro Bowl season, which was 1998, 
Yeah, played uh, had 84 receptions for 1,424 yards and uh, 14 touchdowns. Played for Green Bay. That's got to give it away. Green Bay number 86. Not Andre Reed, not Moss, not not Sharp. No, no Packers fans out there. Packers wide receivers in the mid nine. There you go, Bob's got it. Antonio Freeman, number eighty six. Antonio Freeman. It's like another custom jersey here. No NFL shield or anything like that, but it's got the Packers colors with him. Beckett sticker down there. There must be a Beckett card in, in that jersey somewhere as well, but the sticker will do. All right. Letter A, Brock with the letter A. What did, he did what, Sam? I'm not sure what you're referring to. And that's Brock. With the letter A and random letter two. All right, sixth and final one. Good luck. <laughs> I don't remember that. that. That was the Al Michaels call for the Packers on Monday. He did what? Yeah, terrible night for my picks. Terrible, terrible, terrible. I'm going to have some bad weeks. It's going to happen. I'm an active player in the NFL. A quarterback of sorts. Uh, I guess I was a practice squad player for this team, but I've played, have been an active player for one team my entire career. A pretty versatile player, which should give it away. And I think I had a pretty good game today. Uh, one carry for 22 yards and a touchdown. And then uh, nine other carries for... I know, I had nine carries, 112... Nine carries, 112 yards for three touchdowns. And I passed for a 22-yard touchdown. I had four touchdowns, three rushing touchdowns, and a passing touchdown. Man. Anyway, yeah, Bob's got it. Taysom Hill. Yeah, Brandon, Aaron, Kevin's got it as well. Saints colors, number seven. Tay Hill. There's the Beckett card right there. Or the Beckett sticker. There it is. And the letter T. Letter T is... It's another one for Alan. Alan with the letter T. There you go, gang. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for getting into it. And thanks for playing along uh, with us. Thanks for playing Who Am I? I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.